As part of Clean Energy Week, we're taking a look at the energy outlook in Texas. KHK State Capital reporter Wes Rappaport has a snapshot of what's ahead for that industry. I think it's really exciting. As president of the Longhorn Energy Club, University of Texas grad student Jenny Sauer leads conversations on campus about the state's resources with business leaders, policymakers, and industry professionals. Historical forms of energy and ongoing forms of energy like oil and gas are going to continue to be a pretty big part of the energy system for the foreseeable future. Um, but there are also these cool new technologies. That innovation matters. The governor's proclamation recognizing Clean Energy Week highlights a range of renewable resources sources, wind and solar, hydro and geothermal, as well as nuclear, natural gas, and carbon capture technologies. U.S. Energy Secretary and former Texas Governor Rick Perry champions that diversity. We talked about it last summer. Making sure that these coal plants, these nuclear plants, uh, as, as well as our gas plants and, and the renewables uh, are all part of the mix and uh, it will give us resiliency and reliability in our grid so that we have the power when we need it. Texas added more than 10,000 clean energy jobs last year. Sauer is enthusiastic about the job prospects for the new generation entering that workforce. There's no one set strategy that's going to work and there's no one set policy that's going to work. So hopefully students are being trained to be nimble and flexible and to think strategically and I think that that is definitely a part of you know, the way classes are run here. Wes Rappaport, KETK News.